we have discovered that the Sphere Builders have been conducting operations in other universes. They aren't just looking to make changes in time, but in other dimensions as well. Their experiments in the parallel universe have produced results that will aid them in forming expanses here. We need to travel to that reality and stop the Sphere Builder research, while we still can. In 2387, an incident created a quantum rift between our universe and this one. A Romulan ship accidentally traveled here through a singularity. They found themselves in 2233 and later destroyed the USS Kelvin in battle. This caused their timeline to differ from ours. As a result, we now refer to it as the Kelvin timeline. We believe the sphere builders communicate with their operatives through the rift. Yes, in our timeline, they used the Zindi as a proxy force. I suspect they're doing the same thing here with the Klingon. I'm reading multiple spheres under construction in this sector, as well as the wreckage of spheres. I suspect the local forces are trying to prevent an expanse from being formed. This sphere isn't active yet. We need to neutralize it before the builders can create an Starfleet expanse. Starfleet Command, this is the USS Yorktown. We are under attack and require... I do hope you've come to fight, Patok. If not, you may whimper and wait for my blade at your throat. Over here. Greetings. I am Hello. Science Officer 0718. Thank you for your very timely assistance. Could you see to Admiral Garrett's medical needs? I am currently interfacing with your crew and the Yorktown's engineering systems to prevent a critical breach of the warp core.
What are you doing here? Last I heard, you were putting fear into the hearts of first-year cadets of the Academy. Never mind for now. Give us a hand here. The Klingons really did a number on us. Thank you. I thought we were finished. The Klingons weren't interested in taking prisoners. Thank you. Oh, my head's still spinning. That last Klingon photon hit sent me flying into the ops console. Head first. Thanks. I hope you're here to deal with these spheres. We could use some help putting out these fires. Come over here after you've put out the last fire. Over here! All right. We were about to begin sabotage operations on the Sphere when the Klingons came to call. As you can see, Yorktown and her crew are in rough shape. But that thing needs to be neutralized. I count on you and your crew to help us finish the job? Glad to hear it. We've got explosives ready to go. But we'll need to find a proper infiltration point on the sphere. Work with my science officer to make that happen. Use the starboard console. Together we can triangulate our scanners. Admiral Garrett, I believe we found the suitable location. I have reviewed your proposed infiltration coordinates. They are tactically sound. We can commence operations at your command. Be advised. In previous encounters on board spheres, the occupants have been quick to mobilize their defense forces. Expect heavy opposition. I'll stay on the Yorktown to assist Admiral Garrett and his crew. We'll monitor your progress from the bridge and provide tactical updates as we can. I'll stay on the Yorktown to assist Admiral Garrett and his crew. We'll monitor your progress from the bridge and provide tactical updates as we can. Commander, kill those intruders! To date, the most effective Starfleet tactic has been to trigger a critical series of detonations within their power suite. Such disruptions have resulted in destruction of a sphere. Experiment 2674. Despite attempts to compensate for trans-dimensional drift, the protocol initiation led to universal instability and, ultimately, entropic acceleration. Galactic habitable spaces, zero. Life signs, minimal. Project terminated. Receiving data. I had no idea the Sphere Builders were involved in so many alternate realities. You 
cannot stop our plans. I was part of the team that devised the sphere neutralization tactics aboard USS Enterprise. After our initial success, I was deployed to the Yorktown to share my expertise on such matters. Experiment 3331. The expanse grew at an acceptable rate, until it was discovered by the Iconian Dominion Alliance. After intense resistance, we were able to decimate their core systems with targeted micro-expenses. But their desperation assault in subspace led to a complete entropic breakdown and, ultimately, universal disruption. Galactic habitable spaces? Zero. Life signs? Indeterminate. Project terminated. This data... They've exterminated entire galaxies with your experiments. It seems your alliance with the Klingons has been profitable, Builders. It has. Like the Zindi, they are eager for conquest. However, the technology you have provided destroys, as well as creates. The Resistance has been disruptive to our progress. Your promises appear thin, Envoy. I assure you, all is going according to plan. Nothing they will do will keep us from our goals. And yet, I see a familiar disruption has presented itself again. A minor nuisance. I suggest letting your Klingon do what they do best. I will deal with this disruption. It's time you learned that you cannot prevail, intruder. You will fall to ruin. Enough of you! The Tutarians were a peaceful race until your misbegotten alliance committed an act of genocide. We were all but annihilated. Only a scant few of us escaped to safety, lost and forgotten within a dimensional void. The envoy has given us the means to manipulate events. We have begun to undo the damage you have done to us. Quantum realms such as this are ours to study without risk to our own. And should this realm unravel, there is an infinite number of realms remaining to us. Yes, just as you were willing to do so to achieve your goals, do not presume to judge me, murderer! The Expanse Protocol will wipe you from existence and with your passing, bring justice to my people at long last. Something is happening. The sphere is emitting a high level of thermobaric radiation. We must complete our objective at once. working on the sphere network. Prepare the final charge for detonation.
Final charge deployed. We can return and initiate the detonation chain on your command. Experiment 4472. Projections indicate increased habitable living area and expands growth rate. Early estimates suggest a 500% increase. Local resistance, primarily from this realm's version of the Federation, has been crude but effective. Deploying Klingon proxy forces at key sphere deployments should alleviate this concern. The latest data is local. It corresponds to this universe's quantum signature. Spear Builder ships, inbound! Nice work over there. It was rough for a moment, but you both... Oh! <sighs> what the... I... I'll see you back on the ship, sir. Most curious. I believe that wound occurred due to a temporal shift. Something has happened... elsewhere.
A question for another time, perhaps. In the end, you came through for us. On behalf of Starfleet and the Yorktown crew, thanks. Indeed. Safe travels to you and your crew. The Envoy's been busy since our last meeting. I think we can add the Sphere Builders to our list of known TLF associates and members after this encounter. The Builders are no strangers to temporal war. Their experience could tip the balance of power against us. Fortunately, their ability to operate in our dimension is extremely limited. For now.